Hey, this is Wesley with Millwright CNC. Uh, lately at work, we've been doing a lot of uh, texturing work, just trying out different things um, for different projects. And uh, I figured we would uh, do an easy texturing file for you today. So we're going to start out by going over here to the new file. And uh, it already has my stock in here because I was filling with it earlier, but our stock is going to be 10 inches by 5 inches by 3 quarters. And our datum position is down here in the lower left, and our stock is going to be high. So uh, we'll click OK on that. And for this texturing, we're going to have a box to confine our texture to a certain area so that uh, we can put clamps on the stock, keep everything held down. All right, so there's a box. We'll hit apply, OK. And uh, this is all we need to set up for the texture. So with our box selected, we'll go ahead and hit the texturing tool pass. And uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, select our tool. We got a quarter inch ball nose. And uh, we got it running at 400 inches a minute, 120 inches a minute for the plunge rate. This is uh, a uh, feed rate that our Mega B can easily handle. We'll go ahead and say select. And um, start depth is going to be zero. And for our max cut depth, we'll do uh, 50 thou. Now this slider here is used to add some variation into the uh, program. It can go all the way down to 2.5 thou or anywhere in between. But uh, we want some we want our uh, texture to look more uniform, so we'll, we'll keep it at the same 50 thou. Now the max cut length um, just tells you how long it's going to be in the material, and uh, it has a variation slide too. And when you use these slides, it uh, adds some randomness to the program so everything doesn't look the same and it tries to give it a more uh, uh, organic feel to it. Um, our max overlap is going to be 20% and our step over is going to be 0.125 which is our radius of the, of the quarter inch ball nose and you can also add some variation here but this is more this is a uh, plus or minus uh, a certain number depending on uh, where you leave the slide and again you get some variation in between it but we're not looking for variation we're looking for uh, a more uniform look. So we will calculate that and we will preview it. Now this texture that we're going for is a little bit of a basket weave texture and uh, I hope you can see that. You got uh, high points, low points done in a pattern and, and if you can imagine the uh, vertical supports of the basket going through here and that's, that's what we're looking for. So we'll, we'll close that out. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, and go back to our 2D view, is we're going to add a little bit of uh, contouring here. So we got our profile toolpath right here. And uh, we're actually going to use the same quarter inch ball nose. Uh, and I realize that there's a little bit of curvature at the end of the ball nose, but we're going to go just a little bit deeper, about two millimeters deeper so that the uh, end mill will be contouring that last pass on the flat part and give us a nice sharp corner there. Uh, I will be digging into my spool board a little bit, but I am okay with that. Um, and we're doing 17 passes, I'm, I'm okay with that. Our step down for the pass is, I don't know, uh, 4.8 or 48 thou. And that, that's okay. It'll take a while, but this is just a simple uh, program. We got it going pretty quick, so we can deal with a couple passes. So we will calculate. Next, we have to add in our tabs to keep the piece in as we cut through. We don't want it wiggling around and damaging our end mill or the piece itself. So we'll add that. Uh, we got our length of the tabs at 0.4 inches and our thickness at 0.2 and that should be enough to keep it in 
head of tabs and we will do four that'll put eight well that says eight let's go down so we'll do four that should put one on each edge and keep us nice and stable so with our tabs added we can go down here and calculate and it's telling us we're cutting through we know that already and we will read that this and see what our all our tool paths look like together and there's our uh, basket weave uh, texturing on the piece we'll let that generate now we're going to start the uh, contouring the profile and then we'll put in our tabs as it gets lower there they are they're starting to form and we are cut through and we look like uh, we have nice straight edges there on the piece and that looks good next we're going to save our tool paths make sure both are selected hit this uh, save tool path button and we are going to use a Gerbil and millimeters post processor and uh, save tool paths. We will save this as basket weave texture. Now we are ready to cut.
finished product. It uh, turned out pretty good. Um, everything's nice, clean, straight. Uh, this is more uh, uniform design. If you adjust those slides a little bit, uh, it'll have a more randomized look to it. You can space them out. They don't have to be right on top of each other like this. You could even do a hammered look, a distressed look on the wood if you want to. Uh, your imagination is limited on this, guys. Uh, appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. Um, we will be making more of these in the future.